Greetings and welcome to the old attic again. We have uh, reached the letter T and I'm going to do uh, two sections, maybe even three sections on T because we've got Treasure Isle, we've got Trojan and we've got the letter T with la you know, label like uh, the techniques and uh, taxi and all them. So, first one, a repress, but uh, it's one of Duke Reed's SCAR records. This is called Can You Go Brinkham? Just in Heinz and the Dominoes. <laughs> Justin Hines and on the B side it's a, a reggae song uh, called Hey Mama by Justin Hines. That copy is on uh, Coxon's kind of uh, repressed label and uh, so Coxon acquired, I think Coxon acquired uh, most of the Treasure Isle tapes after Mrs Sonia Pottinger. Uh, oh by the way, uh, can I go bring him Justin Hines? I'll just show you this picture that I've dug out, if you can see there. Uh, that guy right in the back there, that's Mr. Justin Hines. I was lucky to meet him in uh, Jack Ruby's yard and shop in uh, Ocho Rios on the north coast. And uh, I managed to grab, and you can just see a few dub plates there in uh, people's hands. And the only other guy I can, uh, I can remember is uh, this guy here, Fat Jaw. He was the operator of the sound system. So happy memory, that was a fantastic day, that was. But back in, uh, so Duke Reed, the great Duke Reed, the Trojan, who actually got his name for the Trojan record label. Uh, there's different stories, but the one that I like is that he used to drive a, uh, a Trojan van or lorry with his sound system. And uh, he was known as Duke Reed. Uh, Arthur Reed, quite a formidable character, apparently. Produced some of the best ever Rocksteady records, always had fantastic pressings and uh, takes and uh, he passed away on the 1st of January 1975 in New York. Then uh, Mrs Sonia Pottinger acquired a picture, I don't know if I showed you this before, but that's me with her down in her place at the bottom end of Orange Street in disc presses and she also uh, I don't know if you can see that. Signed that one for me. Kindest thoughts. It says, I, think, I don't know, can you read it? Kindest thoughts, Sonia Pottinger. Now then, a, a lot of my Treasure Isle records are knackered. And there's a reason for that. I used to have them stacked in my old house. I used to transfer uh, old cine films onto uh, videotapes for people. And uh, the projector was here and my records were over there. And unbeknownst to me, the bulb was getting very hot to the projector and blowing hot air over that direction, right on my letter T's. And I must have ruined about, I don't know, 20 of my uh, Treasure Isle records. Uh, and uh, yeah, gutted. So that one has got a slight warp on it, which I'm not even gonna to attempt to play. Right. So there's various, I suppose that's the, that, that's the most famous kind of Treasure Isle, the Jamaican one. And there's uh, that one as well. And they come in all different colours as well. Like <laughs> that one. So, uh, this looks like, uh, to me, an original pressing. 
uh, from Duke Reed. It's got. Uh, I'm going to play the B side of this, although the A side is very good. By uh, I only have one life to live by Phyllis Dillon. I'm going to play the B side, which is a ver a organ version of a Paragon song. It's called My Best Dress. <laughs> by Tom McCook and uh, it's a version to uh, I'm gonna tell the world about you do, 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 paradigms. I can't remember where I got uh, a lot of my records but I distinctly remember buying this this one uh, uh, this one which is a repress but in about 1983 I bought that in uh, Randy's record store flashing my whip this is cool. <laughs> It's a deep, it's a uh, Euroi cut to um, Only a Smile by the Paragons again, this is brilliant. <laughs> songs I always thought when I first heard them that you know they were singing in, the guys were singing there and the DJ was over there of course everything happened about five years after the original hit and I can imagine I'd love to have been there when they first started playing these at a dance where people are just thinking oh it's an old song from the Paragons and then they drop the vocal out and they get you Roy coming on there and just doing that over it I mean the place must have gone absolutely bonkers and um, from things I've read, it did. So that was uh, you, Roy. So uh, Duke Reed had probably you, Roy, Dennis Al Capone and Lizzie as his main DJs that he used. So I'm going to go for somebody. It's a, it's a blank, but uh, it's Dennis Al Capone. And uh, we're going to finish off with this one for today, folks. <laughs> This one's got a slight warp in from my projector bulb. What you gonna do? Ooh, on the judgment day. Yeah! What you gonna do, 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 on judgment day? Oh yeah! What you gonna say? Are you really gonna pray? On the judgment day? You could never get away. Yeah! Set right. Father will be coming. Ooh. On the blessed day. Oh, yeah! Father will be come, coming. On the blessed day. Yeah! Father will be coming. On the weekend will be running. So there we go. That's. Uh, Tea for Treasure Isle. One of my favourite producers, Duke Reed, some of the finest 
music ever to be made in Jamaica between about 66 and 68 was made by him. Pressings were awesome. Clarity was fantastic. Musicianship was awesome. So until tomorrow, kind of stay in with the Duke Reed and Treasure Isle in the way we're going to be moving on to the Trojan record label and see if I can dig out anything uh, from there. I've sold so many of my records a few years ago on eBay, but still got a few left to go through. I'm discovering things and finding things, which is very nice. It's like I'm going to say to you every day, stay safe, stay well, stay home. <laughs>